today in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday for a bike ride through historic areas of Overtown. NBC6 reporter Victor Jorges is in downtown Miami with the message organizers of this ride hope to share. The Dade Heritage Trust and the Friends of the Underline put this ride together. They tell me their mission is to connect people on these rides and to give an up-close and personal look at Miami's black history. When we talk about equality, we have to look at how we got where we are today and how we got to where we were when Dr. King was, you know, doing his very important work. Christine Rupp with Dade Heritage Trust says you can't tell the story of Miami without highlighting Overtown and the neighborhood's role in history. I think a lot of people were really surprised when you talk about um, the segregation story in Miami and the preservation of these venues that help tell that story and how important that is. Saturday morning, about 50 bicyclists met up under the metro tracks and went on a historic journey to Overtown to honor Dr. Martin Luther King and his mission. A mission, Rupp says, is still relevant today, more than 50 years since the civil rights movement. Obviously, affordability is a huge issue here. And when you bike through Overtown and you see the amount of vacant lots and um, some insensitive redevelopment that really doesn't speak to the history and heritage of the community, um, I would say he would think like we do, we can do better. Alex Larmier led the ride. Like Rob, he recognizes the beauty and importance in taking time to reflect on neighborhoods and their historic background. It's really fascinating to go by some really interesting spots, uh, the Lyric Theater, the Dorsey House. I think we learned a lot about the neighborhood and it's a perfect day to drive by. A lot of people come out, you know, mothers, kids, grandparents, all ages, all walks of life, and it's really nice to see. Dr. Martin Luther King would have turned 94 years old this year. In downtown Miami, Victor Jorges, NBC6 News.